Hey guys, it's Mr. Disco here. Uh, today I'm going to be going through some of my replays with Roy, um, who, as I said in some of my videos, is a character that I, I like to play as. Um, and this is going to be some more uh, in-depth analysis, uh, if it's analysis at all. I don't really know how to categorize these. Um, but there's only three videos, uh, or three matches, uh, that is, of Roy, and two of them are against my brother, who is not very good, and one of them is on for glory. So, sorry, Brayden, but let's be honest, you're not. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to pause at moments. Can I hit space and pause? Yep, okay. So, if there's anything that I need to say then uh, in length, then I'll pause. Okay, so Zero Suit Samus obviously wins this matchup quite clearly, I'll say. Um, she definitely outranges him, um, but if you use Roy properly, it can be a little bit of... Um, a little bit of a hindrance to her. Okay, but you saw what I was doing there is I'm doing the up bean. Now that is not a true combo, but he doesn't have a fast enough reaction to like air dodge. Um, in fact, I think he just forgot to air dodge. But um, that's a great thing to do. Uh, it can catch your opponent off guard. It's just down throw and up bean. Um, if you do it too often, I mean I do... Uh, uh, to him pretty often in this, but if you do it too often, then they're just going to air dodge. Um, depending on how fast and how much range the character is, they can punish you. It's a pretty easy punish. Um, uh, but if, if you play it right, it can be a really good advantage. Okay, so the thing about Zero Suit Samus is that she has the third jump. Now that makes her very difficult for any character to, um, uh, to like, uh, watch her landing, like try to call where she's going to land and do that. Um, so yeah, she outranged me there. I go for just a neutral B. He likes to dash and he also likes to forward smash. Those are his two favorite things. And that was awesome. I was going wild when that happened. Um, but sadly I could not make it back to the ledge. Um, so you see right there, he's just jabbing a lot. Uh, I should have held shield longer. Um, but I didn't for fear of it breaking. So what he's doing right now is he's throwing out a bunch of tilts and jabs, which are very fast. And since my dash attack and subsequently any attack Roy does takes time to charge up, um, she's getting hits on me. And um, uh, I don't know if that down B can stop the neutral B. Uh, I think it can, but I think I just timed that perfectly to where he didn't hit me and I unleashed it and then it sent him flying. Okay, <clears throat> so another match. I don't know why we paused here or something like that. For Roy, spacing is very important. Um, some people are better at spacing with Roy than I am. It's difficult with for me for some reason. Um, that time it wasn't. He thought he was far away enough to where it wouldn't hit me. He misjudged the distance. I should have gone for a back air there. Um, I was risky going for an up B. The, the reason why I'm playing kind of recklessly is that uh, I'm obviously more skilled than him, so there's a lot of stuff that I can get away with. Um, that was a really good perfect shield. I should have done a back air again. Should have done a forward smash there, although I did think he was going to roll behind me. Um, it's, yeah, so I'm just trying to kind of bait him to come see if he'll run into one of those again. And, I, yeah, he ends up getting that. He's a bit slow as far as reaction goes. Unlike... Uh, getting those stun hits. So yeah, that third jump, see, if he had kept going and not used that third jump, he would have landed right into my thing. But um, sadly, he didn't And because of that third jump. Yeah. So if you're Zero Suit Samus or you're fighting Zero Suit Samus, you need to be wary of that third jump because especially if you throw out a strong attack with a lot of lag, they can just bait you and then bam. You already used it. They landed behind you and they're come hit you with a dash and then Zero Suit Samus will put you into combos. So this is a link I played online. Um, 
technically by competitive rules I lose this match because we end up going into um, OT or uh, what do they call it? sudden death um, but the point is that I, I stay alive because he actually wrecks me at the beginning here you see he's already doing a lot uh, and apparently he doesn't know that you can get out of that and honestly maybe there are some characters who can't I'm pretty sure Link is not one of them though and I suicide there because I'm an idiot and I don't know how to use Roy but yeah again with the up B thing very 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 good combo for Roy not good with his neutral air as you can see I rarely use it um, I'm not good with short hops so it would make sense that I'm not good with that once again the up B so right now I'm on zero to death he's about to pull out his bow and shoot me this would have been cool if I'd zero to death in there but he's gonna get a he's gonna get an arrow on me pretty quickly yeah right there up B again yeah uh, if you're playing Roy and you don't know how to get out of that which you can just do by air dodging or maybe even just jumping out of the way um, it is very frustrating I know I think I was playing with Beaned yeah I remember I was playing him and he was Rob I don't know if I have that one on video I may do ah, I thought that would have killed him there <laughs> I went for that but anyway yeah uh, with Rob like I just down throw up B he was at like a hundred percent and I was still down throwing and not being um, it was, it's pretty nice but this stupid link finally dies um, so I don't know if his dash attack actually may forces him to jump or if just every link I play just jumps when they do their dash attack but um it's nice. I guess it's kind of like a Shulk's backslash. That was nice by him. That was stupid by me. Should have either gone out of the way, air dodged, or countered. That's the good thing about Fire Emblem characters is that they kind of have a third option instead of just avoiding, attacking, and I guess air dodges under avoid. They have a counter option, um, which is really good. Um, so right now, actually scratch that that's a good option with Roy is to side B side B is a very good important option that uh, Roy Marth and Lucina have uh, I don't think yeah Ike doesn't have it although his side B is pretty good as well if you use it properly but yeah you can do it in the air it pauses you so if they're charging up an attack then they miss and then you're coming down already attacking which has no lag basically so that that's something you wanna you wanna get down, especially get down the timing for the side bees. I don't have it down yet. Um, I've seen some things uh, on the internet that tell you how, and you just uh, you say like get wrecked, you loser, and if you just do it, get wrecked, you loser, then it should come out all at the same time. Uh, but yeah, you just gotta get the timing down. Um, for some reason, he's doing back throws. Golly, so that was a nice back here by me. I don't know why I stayed so far away from the edge. Should have got closer. But anyway, so you can see there's a minute left. I'm at 144%, playing extremely safe. And that was a little bit risky. Um, I should be calling those air dodges and punishing that, but I wasn't, I don't think I was that skilled at the time. This is actually from a, probably a month or two ago. So I've gotten a lot better since then. But yeah, I'm at 150, now at 162, and I'm surprised that didn't get me. But that was a nice back air. Like I said with Roy, spacing is probably the most important thing you can do with him. Because they really, really shortened the sword in this. What they should do is take a little bit of Marth sword and give it to Roy so that they're even. Because Marth has Tipper and then Roy has the base of his sword. So yeah, this is Sun Death. 
So by competitive standards, I've already lost. So technically this is a loss. We both air dodge. He air dodges and I get the down throw. Um, so that time I kind of did call out the air dodge. Um, yeah, so that is me playing Roy. And um, uh, next I have uh, videos. I'll be doing this shortly. But I played this game and watch who was actually really good. And I will be doing a, a video on that uh, and analysis on Mr. Game and Watch. And uh, so thanks for watching.